Hope you have seen and even enjoyed the earlier two videos in the series, having fun with physics during vacations. Well, in the previous video, we talked about how to study physics. In this video, let us focus on the remaining two aspects, from where to study and what to study in physics. From where? For that, you need to procure the book, The Concepts of Physics by Professor H.C. Verma. It's the Bible, Gita, Quran, etc, etc for all the JE aspirants in the country. This book actually comes in two parts, part 1 and part 2. The part 1 is something which you would need immediately. Part 2 would essentially be needed only in the 12th standard. Moving on to the next, next aspect, what to study in physics? Well, few of you may want to complete the entire two-year physics syllabus in the coming few days but if you feel that's not so good an idea and is at least not possible then follow my advice I shall suggest few topics which you can kind of manage by yourselves the chapter one of the book is named introduction to physics and as the name suggests it talks about what is physics, how physics has grown and also introduces us to the idea of units and dimensions. Uh, you may read this chapter, you may skip this chapter. It would not matter much. The intention behind this chapter is maybe to instill the interest in physics. So I would say this chapter is optional. Moving on to chapter 2, Physics and Mathematics. Remember in the earlier video I mentioned, physicists ideally need to be very strong at mathematics. Now this is a challenging chapter which contains 12 standard math topics like vectors, differentiation and integration which are extensively used in physics. In this chapter I would want you to study only the first part vectors and not delve into derivatives and integration see primarily i want you to conquer the physics topic forces which does not involve the knowledge of differentiation and integration and only involves the understanding of vector addition and resolution of vectors even in the vectors part the last part is dot product and cross product which sometimes children find challenging so if that's the case you may skip that part for now we only want to learn how to add vectors and how to resolve vectors into components the chapter also deals with the usage of significant figures and errors in measurements which again can be avoided for now chapter 3 is about kinematics now do we know what is kinematics if I have to give you an example let's say a particle is moving along a curved path so what all gets covered in kinematics if we call the starting instant as t equal to 0 then in kinematics we talk about let's say the position of the particle at t equal to 3 seconds the distance covered by the particle from t equal to 3 to t equal to 5 seconds its displacement its average speed average velocity for that time interval instantaneous speed at t equal to 5 seconds instantaneous velocity the rate at which that velocity is increasing which is basically acceleration we talk about all these things in kinematics so what what is left we do talk about the rate at which velocity is increasing but we do not talk about why is the velocity increasing what is the cause in kinematics we basically talk about the motion without worrying about the cause of it as per many physicists 
kinematics hardly involves physics. Remember physics was about giving reasons to as to what all is happening around us in nature. In kinematics we do not try to give any reasons. It's the plain dry description of the motion as it is. Now my advice would be to skip this chapter again for now. If you are wondering why, see this chapter involves you with some newer concepts. You must already be familiar with the concepts like average speed, average velocity. But this chapter introduces us to concepts like speed. You must be wondering big deal, we know what is speed, come on. Speed is distance upon time. Friends, that is average speed. In physics when we say speed, without putting a prefix before, it basically means instantaneous speed or speed at an instant of time. Now, that's really a complicated idea. If you want to think about it, what it must be, let me share an anecdote with you. A woman was moving on a highway, was driving on a highway when a policeman waved his hand and stopped her. She stopped. So basically that means the country is not India. I'm kidding. She stopped. The policeman went to her and said, you'll be fine because when I waved my hand, you were driving at 80 kilometers per hour. You were over speeding. The girl said 80 kilometers per hour, but I had only driven for 10 minutes and I shall not be driving for one full hour. After five minutes, I shall, let's say, be meeting my boyfriend and eating ice cream with him. How can you say 80 kilometers per hour? So my question to you is, was it the right usage from the side of the policeman? Who would you go with? Policeman or the girl? Come on, you are not allowed to go with the girl. Just a phrase. So kinematics should be skipped for now as it involves ideas like instantaneous speed, instantaneous velocity, instantaneous acceleration, which can only be completely understood after understanding differentiation which I have asked you to skip for now. Come on! Moving on, chapter 4, 5 and 6 deal with forces and Newton's laws. And this is the part of physics which I want you to begin with. Chapter 4 talks about forces and its various types. In fact, I would suggest let this be the first chapter from this book that you read. Very very interestingly written, does not involve the knowledge of any prior chapter, not even of vectors. But after chapter 4 you would need to go to the chapter 2 and read the vectors part which shall be needed to understand chapter 5 and 6. Chapter 5 essentially talks about the Newton's laws and primarily involves working with Newton's second law. And chapter 6 introduces us to the concept of friction. Friends, we may upload few more videos to help you understand these chapters 4, 5 and 6 better. But irrespective of that, Start studying from this book the recommended chapters in the suggested order. Lots of love and good wishes. Thank you.